Tonight in Westminster, residents fill the City Hall parking lot. They're protesting what have become some of the highest, if not the highest, water rates on the entire Front Range. CBS 4's Karen Morfitt spoke to several of those people who showed up tonight. And Karen, we're talking about bills that are consistently $300 to $500. And Karen, this parking lot was pretty much full earlier tonight. Many of those people came up to us with their bills in hand. Some just confused at those numbers. Others visibly upset because they say it used to be affordable. Now it's literally breaking their budget. Outside Westminster City Hall, the people packed the parking lot in protest. 186 for the month of June. And then in July, it went $250. And... For no reason, we have not changed any of our water usage habits. After losing their jobs at the Pepsi Center due to COVID, Mary Martinez and her husband say that jump will cost them more than just dollars and cents. And that money helped us make ends meet because we are retired and on a fixed income. Do we want to buy food that we need or pay for our water bill? Across town, Debbie Teeter's bill hit $500. She says the city's tier system is flawed. First tier is barely enough for anybody to take care of a yard. Then you jump from 8 to $12 to almost $13 a gallon. The city says the rate increase helps promote conservation and necessary changes to their system. No tax dollars go to the utility to do any of our work, whether it's operations or capital investment. But residents question their billing cycles going from every 28 days to 33 in the heat of the summer pushing many homeowners into the top tier without changing usage at all. We've taken care of the city of Westminster, and now it's their turn. The city says that uh, billing cycle 28 to 33 days is just something that uh, flexible, is flexible every month because a driver has to go out and check it manually. They just don't know what uh, cycle will each person will be on. Residents have also raised concerns about those meters and incorrect readings. The city says they are replacing old meters right now, but those residents want to see a full audit. Here in Westminster tonight, Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.